The cub holds out his leg, revealing a ragged wound. As the wound closes, the cub begins testing his weight on the leg. The little beast's quite charming once you get accustomed to the smell of rotting flesh. Camp life seems to suit the young owlbear. His coat of feathers seems fuller. His eyes look bright and inquisitive. There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. my name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those woods. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. Normally, I'd agree, but with you, it's getting easier by the moment. Pain is the gauntlet that all who love Lady Shah must endure. Only her embrace can truly heal me. To try and... Salve myself would do nothing but shame me in the Night Singer's eyes. Oh. 
Perhaps you're right. But there's little we can do about it just now. Maybe a way will present itself in time if Lady Shah wills it. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. This blade was a warrior's sacrifice to Elastray. Blood can only be honored with blood. The drow script inscribed on the blade flickers and glows. It rises from the stone, hanging in the air in silent offering. Best not to get too close.
home with them. Let's see what's to be said. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. You have my attention. Ah, I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need. Be assured, it is not by choice. Mask and torch stalks. Hell of a combination. Get confused by one, blown up by the other. Eat this. <laughs> Let me work my magic. Nothing. Both animals look fine.
Scratch's tail wags furiously. These two have become firm friends. Something to ask. You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. You see a vision, your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. What's inside? Corpses. These creatures did battle with Dwergar. Fungus and mold glaze the grotesque creature's face and body. A voice drifts into your mind as you gaze upon the misshapen servant. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. Visitor, you're a welcome sight, but let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. <laughs> or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. 
this need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside his head, but he hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis? That's impossible, but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. As the Meloan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. A nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But, I have... an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have... Subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self explanatory. My formula will hamper the more harmful effects once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion. Your sanity, however much you possess, should remain intact. The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare, and their discovery perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. 
she is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Uh, nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Sousa Bark took priority. May your travels be safe and swift. Never seen anything like it, Blur. Is my Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? The feeling is mutual, friend. I have only passing familiarity with the surface races. But I found that there is as much to learn from an individual as there is from a community. So it is with the Myconids. They live in harmonious unity, but each has a unique personality. Yes, but it has abundant natural resources. Spores, water orbs, Trillimac. I've studied them for years. There is rare magic in the Underdark too. Fair's rest. It radiates from the earth, warping teleportation and divination magic. This is not a wasteland. It is a glorious ecosystem. Every civilization here could thrive without conflict. I do enjoy a good bargain, if anything in my private collection is to your liking. Thank you. 